Have you ever wanted to experience Borderlands in a completely different way? What if I told you it's never been easier to create your own gear and take a break from the grinding? Maybe you want to experience the game in a different way, but you're on console or don't want to install the Python SDK yet. I have updated Gibbs Borderlands the pre-sequel save editor to support more platforms such as decrypted PS4 saves, save wizard PS4 max advanced mode exports, and exploited Nintendo Switch saves. I have also included a brand new tab that allows you to create mission rewards to bypass the sanity check on console and PC, and an experimental new UI. Now let's get into how to open our PS4 Save Wizard exported save. Once we have copied our save from our console, we want to open it in advanced mode and click the export button. From here, instead of naming it save, we're going to name it Jason. So as I said before, the first thing you'll notice is that the editor itself does look different from the uh, previous editor, but let's go ahead and open our save wizard file. So once we hit open, what we want to do is locate where we had our save from here. We're going to switch the type of saver opening from PC to save wizard and go ahead and open up our save. So you see here in the uh, general tab, we have our GUID. We want to change this and our slot value to make sure that there is no saves overlapping if we are making multiple characters from this one character. We can also uh, change the uh, platform if we need to output a save. I still need to update this. I did not realize that the uh, Switch and uh, Vita was not. I will have that updated right before this video comes out. When it comes to uh, importing, we can import the uh, skills from another character, a uh, mission from another character. The uh, world is actually the region data. So if you copy somebody's XP save, you want to copy the world with it. The uh, import status is just the challenge data for your character. Moving to the general tab here, we can uh, choose whatever character you want. If you are on PS3 or Xbox 360, you are going to need the actual DLC to select one of these characters though well we can type in level 999 you will be stuck loading if you join somebody else's game so make sure you set yourself as a level 70. the overpower function does not actually work in this game however it is here the max level you can see in this game is 127 which is the equivalent of op 55 but you still can't equip the gear even giving yourself the overpower points the general skill points there is a cap to this if you want to go beyond the cap what you're going to do is keep your experience points at the maximum value that they're going to be whenever you hit level 70 and just set your character save to one whenever you load back in the game you'll instantly become level 70 and get all the extra skill points now one cool thing i am planning on doing is changing all the heads and skins as you can see right now they are currently blank that's because i have another character's head and skin on this character you can merge heads and skins i am also going to add the ability to edit the other two so you're going to be able to put on three heads and a skin the vehicle skins same thing here you're just going to have whatever skin you want when it comes to uh, currency uh, you reserved is just your shift tokens they don't do anything the feature never got implemented the max moonstones is 500 and the max money is 99 million fast travels i don't believe this feature is working currently so i am going to try and get it plugged in it won't be done by the time this video comes out but it should be pretty close to being done via backpack we can go ahead and edit all of our weapons to whatever level we want to we can change the parts if we think there is a better part we can also use this to import codes and create new items and weapons the bank is also accessible through here if you do grab a code from online such as the zarpadon cyber eagle it will have to go in your bank it will not spawn in your inventory act here in the rewards tab which is the brand new tab we can create the modded gear that we want to the playthrough is locked however we can copy and paste codes over so if we wanted to take something like our major tom we can go down to the rewards tab put it in ultimate vault hunter mode here which is playthrough 2 paste it in and just throw a couple extra barrels on it for some damage for a game Moving down to the Brawl tab, this is basically going to be everything that you're normally going to see all smushed down together into one little quick menu. You can also edit things like your skill points and give yourself max skill trees if you don't want to do it with the skill points and just want to do it all at once. 
the uh, resource data is how you're going to get unlimited ammo you're just going to set this value to 999 million and keep the upgrade level as six then change your black market upgrades to 99 million across but yeah i just made the editor more convenient to use whenever you are using it and to go back to the save wizard format what we're going to do is do a save as we're going to change the save type as from save to dot json and now we can save it right back over our save before. Now we can open our save with a, a JSON editor or a notepad. So all we're going to do is select everything, copy it, select everything in save wizard. So you can just do a control A and then paste it in with control V and apply. Hopefully this helps more people that are playing on Switch or maybe exploited PlayStation 4 or just want to play using save wizard.